All right, so today I bring you in a spy camera. Now this one can record up to 10 hours. Why? Because it has a 1200 milliamp hour. Now it has a night vision up to 32 feet. It has a 1080 resolution, motion detector, and also you can use this as a body cam as well too. I'll show you what we get and how we configure this tiny camera right now. <music> How are we doing everyone? I'm Dario from MediaBoxNT.com and today I bring you this tiny camera. Now, make sure you subscribe to MediaBox ENT. It's pretty simple. Just click that there in the side and become part of the project. What I bring you all the time is a lot of robotics, electronic, camera, and much more. So become part of MediaBox NT by subscribing right now. All right, so let's go to the camera. Let's see exactly what we get. So we have the cable, the micro stick cable, type A, and you charge to this with computer, power bank, and much more. Now, it has this tiny support, and it's pretty cool. You can use this even right in your car as a dash cam. It has a nice there, like, and you just click it there, and then you can stick this for any way you want it, any part of the house. Now, also have the support for body cam. Okay? So, what you do is just put this right here, and now I can just put this right in my belt, or my jacket, or my hat, even this moves. Right, so easy to use as a body cam. Now, motion detector, the camera will record for the person to stand by and it will record for 60 seconds when somebody passed by. We see the night vision, the lens, micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes. We can reset it from there. If you look into the side, that's where you're going to charge it. You can use almost any device to charge from computers or um, computers with it, the power banks or phone chargers. Now we have the light right there, so the camera is off. If you set this this way, what the camera is going to do right now is goes in a standby mode, and it will record for 60 seconds. Somebody passed by, right? It records another 60 seconds in standby. And very important, make sure you stick into the end because I'm going to show you a little secret. Also, how to program and change the time and day. We're going to do that after this. Now, we want the camera to record all the time. Pretty simple. We're going to go all the way to the end, and now the camera will record up to 10 hours, right? Well, two things will happen. Either the memory gets full, depends on how many gigabytes you put, or the camera runs out of battery. Now, if you use a power bank, or you just plug it in, well, the camera will just record until the memory gets full. Or either put a standby and imagine, depends how much traffic. Maybe you can be recording for days of that. Why so it's pretty nice in a cool camera. All right, so now we do a little test. All right, so we tested the camera now with 1080 resolution. Oh, as you see now, the quality of the video. All right, so a little test here. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go into a dark room so you guys can see what it looks this when it's dark. All right, and then I'll show you how to configure the camera. But before that, so you get one of these cameras right now. Exactly why you will be recording. What is the idea? No, leave me a comment right below this video. Night vision, you guys. You can see my backups and servers and much more. So just check it out in a dark room. All right, so how we set the time and day on the camera? Pretty simple. Insert the memory right in your computer. Open the correct drive. In my case, K can be D, F, E. All right, so you see the directory there where it records all your videos. Open time. All right, in my case, use Notepad. You can use this right in your uh, Apple or in Windows or Linux. Set the day and time, okay, right here. And then the hour, whatever it is. It's a military hour. All right, so uh, 21 will be 9 o'clock at night. So this is at 9 o'clock at night. Set the seconds and time. And then here we set Y. We click save. Now take your memory out, insert it right, right in the camera, turn the camera on, wait a few seconds, you turn it off. What's gonna happen now? It's gonna change the clock on the internal camera. Every time you record a video, it will always print the time. You need to do it only once. You don't need to do this all the time. The camera will keep the clock internal. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.